Developed in the 1970s and put into service in the 1980s, the MiG-31 fighter jet will soon be replaced by its successor. The purpose of the MiG-31 is the detection and destruction of ballistic and cruise missiles, various aircraft, ranging from low-flying UAVs to low-orbit satellites. Although this interceptor was developed over 40 years ago and is a fourth-generation combat aircraft, its weapons are allegedly capable of striking the American fifth-generation fighter, the F-35. The fighter jet can shoot down aerial targets at speeds of up to 5 Mach, which can be detected at a distance of 280 kilometers thanks to its phased array, which no other plane had at the beginning of the century. The interceptor carries between 5 and 9 tons of payload and its arsenal includes various types of munitions, of which long-range missiles are capable of striking on their own, without external target designation. The MiG-31 may be a flying command post. The update I may spot satellites with maximum weight of up to 100 kilograms at a height of up to 600 kilometers. At the beginning of 2017, the Vice President of Russian United Aircraft Corporation, Sergei Karatkov, told journalists that work on the MiG-41 fighter continues. According to him, it will be a new generation machine, which will replace the MiG-31 interceptor fighter jet. Karatkov also mentioned that designers of the Mikoyan Special Design Bureau, as well as representative of other defense enterprises, are taking part in the creation of the new machine. Earlier, the commander of the Russian Airspace Defense Forces, Viktor Bondarev, was informed of the Advanced Aviation Complex Long Range Interception ALCLY, project of the MiG-41. He stated that the development of the new fighter interceptor jet is actively being pursued under scientific research and, in 2017, it is expected to start the prototype. The commander of the Russian Air Force told reporters that the introduction of the aircraft into service is planned so far for 2025. So far, almost nothing is known about this machine. We do not know any of its characteristics, nor the details of external appearance of this aircraft. There are only sketches of the prototypes available online. We can only speculate on the range and speed characteristics. In order to conceptualize the machine, one must understand what tasks the new fighter jet will perform and its weapon system. Most likely, the aircraft will be tested by 2020. Meanwhile, the MiG-31 is still successfully coping with its tasks and will not become obsolete before the early 2030s. The new fighter jet is developed separately from the AACLI T-50, Su-57, is not its competitor and will fulfill completely different tasks. The high maneuverability of stealth tactical interceptor for the MiG-41 is not exactly needed, but ultra-high speed and altitude, especially new weapons and upgraded onboard radar, are just what it needs to destroy the ultra-fast targets at high altitudes. If the parallels are drawn with the MiG-31, the appearance of the fighter will change to greater stealth. Armaments may be placed inside. The cannon will most likely be discarded, being ineffective for this aircraft. One of the major threats in the foreseeable future for Russia may be the military hypersonic aircraft, whose development is currently actively underway in the United States. The Boeing X-51 hypersonic aircraft project, developed by the Prompt Global Strike Strategy, can be used as an example. The speed, according to the fact sheet, can reach 6 to 7,000 km per hour. Such weapon systems are capable of being a strategic threat as they do not necessarily need a nuclear warhead. These type of missiles can hit enemy targets due to their tremendous kinetic energy. The enormous flight speed makes the interception of such targets quite a daunting task. The increasing bellicose rhetoric and unilateral hostile actions from the White House against Russia make one think that this type of missiles can be adopted as a weapon and the Russian military industrial complex will have something to answer it with. Currently in Russia, the new missiles RVVBD is being developed on the base of the air-to-air long-range R-37 with the dual-mode solid propellant rocket propulsion system, solid propellant rocket engine with a range of up to 300 kilometers. The distinctive features are the active homing head, the high-precision inertial control system using laser gyros, a line of radio control that allows the aircraft to refine the target coordinates with the goal to defeat the enemy from maximum range significantly improving the parameters of the missile when working with large loads of up to 8 units. Besides the missile, the KS-172 long-range air-to-air missiles are developed. 
the basis of the missile was taken from the well-proven 9M83 missile of the ground-based air defense system S-300B. Although the speed of the targeted objectives for this rocket is 4 km a second, its advantage is its long range, up to 400 km, and the handling of up to 12 units of targets. It is precisely these missiles that the MiG-41 can get if it is adopted. However, it should be understood that when the time comes for introducing them into service, basically new weapons might appear, ranging from fundamentally new air-to-air -air missile class to laser combat systems that can destroy an aircraft or a satellite. In the mid-80s, the USSR was developing and experimenting with Modification D of the MiG-31 fighter, armed with a complex of anti-satellite weapons, 79M6 contact, but it was not adopted due to the thawing of world tensions, and Moscow reached an agreement with Washington to terminate the program. The United States dreaded the Russian new developments in the system, so that in exchange for the cancellation of the MiG-31D, they only tested and did not put into service their own similar system, the ASM-135 ASAT, air-launched anti-satellite. Given the fact that the United States can waive earlier commitments, the Russian Federation may resume the development of this type of weapons based on new technological and fundamental bases. There is the issue of piloting of the aircraft. In other words, will this fighter jet be controlled by the pilot or an unmanned aerial vehicle? Given the overload that one experiences at such speeds, the second option seems much more plausible. The problem is that Russia, even in Soviet times, is behind in the field of the UAVs. So far, Russia is enabled to create even a modern attack drone, and to make a remote-controlled interceptor is a much more difficult task. The growing tensions in the world and another arms race are forcing the world powers to adopt more and more new systems and weapon systems. The MiG Design Office has extensive experience in the development of interceptors. Combat aircraft developed by them hold world records in height, speed, and range.